side of my pools and most things, most days, of course, we are going to milk the mushrooms. <laughs> you wonder why you, I don't do this on uh, on bedrock condition is because like it, it is not what do I get? Blindness! Ow! Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> I have to navigate my way home. Okay, it didn't last for too long. Which is good enough. And apparently there's an Enderman and I do not want to look at him. Otherwise things will end badly. And actually, uh, what is he holding then? <coughs> Envy! What have you done? Anyways, let's go into no no I'm holding. Let's go back to survival. And now we are going to see what Corona is, has planned for us today. Corona is just uh, just up here. What does it say? Clean up the mess. Okay, that makes me feel better because an enderman did just place a random wet sand pot down. So it looks like we've got to clean some of this up. You know what I might do? For now, I'm going to tone it to peaceful because, uh, because, uh, 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 because I have to clean uh, up the mess that the men made. The dirt will go, uh, grow back into mycelium. Uh, it will grow back to mycelium. Unless it's coal stoked, in which case it's not. Okay, that is supposed to be there. Okay, where did all the unmen things come from? It looks like we came out of stone block from there. So we need to put that back. Did this come from the Mushroom Island, I believe? I think that might have been what happened. Um, okay. If it is in the respectful biome, uh, then I don't pick it up, even if it was supposed to be somewhere else. This is not intended to be there. That is supposed to be somewhere else. And aha, I see another block that's not supposed to be here. That does look pyramid just spawning naturally on there. And I actually turned it into a roller coaster, which is nice. Oh, which is nice. It, it was planned to be like a theme park, but now it's, it's just an old roller coaster. Why? Is, I think that is it. So now let's turn monsters on. Back to game. And then they should start spawning. And, oh boy, I need to atone this. Looks like I'll have to get to Googly Island. And yep, there are a lot of mobs. Um, yep, and they are coming for me. Uh-oh. Oh no, I have... Oh boy. Thanks to this armor, why? Let's place that there, and let's place that there, and let's... Oh no, I nearly fell into the black hole. That would have been a disaster. Why? Let's get back on the Mushroom Island, and now we need to eat something. Okay, I have a piece of... Okay, we need to go here, and then we need to... Okay, okay. If they come to the Mushroom Island, then they just swam over there. I don't think they actually spawn. There used to be somewhere where they could even spawn on Mushroom Island on just one block, but I think that feature must have been removed or something. I think it was like 1.13. Okay, this is where it's supposed to be. And shooting a pill.
Pillager Patrol, uh, and assuming there's no Pillager Patrol that spawns nearby, we should be safe. Anyways, get away from me! Okay, that's good. I got a critical hit. And two critical hits! And I don't need any of this. I can just go into creative mode and get what I need. Lol. Alright, we all right, let's sleep and then let's eat a piece of pulp. Get my pulp up. Zombie grows. Okay, I don't think he's inside our house. Unless unless a pillager patrol spawned. Uh, why now? I think we will. Unless a pillager patrol spawns right now, I think we're okay. What do I get? Oh, there's only one left of the enchanted golden apples. Only one left. But today, oh boy, I think, anyways, being joined by Kaylee. And apparently we still have some zombies nearby. And an awful lot of them as well. We cannot bring a dog for this because it is too dangerous. Uh, I think Jumpness1234 is going to come to help me out. And you leave me alone, zombies! Because today, we are going to be... Uh, because today... And I don't think zombies... And critical hit. And critical hit. And critical hit. And critical hit. Um, I think the zombies died. And and there we go. <laughs> and there we go. Corona is still okay. This is my living room, and this is this is the stone room. This is Corona's room. We've got the stones room and everything, and you know, my ask why it's a little unleveled. Because uh, I originally just planned to build this and then eventually added all sorts of things, but <laughs> that was funny. I think now it pushes you out, so you don't need to manually push out yourself. And where did you come from, Lane? There are a whole bunch of zombie pigmen here. <laughs> it looks like either Wandering Trado somehow got into the nether. Not uncommon to see a skeleton in the nether. Uh, oh, and then the llamas just came out, and we've got a baby piglin and a normal piglin down here, and a shrydle. Who thought of these two little puppies? But, anyways, we are going to try to get a zoglin. But to do that, we need a hoglin to get into the old world. And one of the biggest problems is hoglins do not spawn. Uh -oh. Is hoglins run away from nether portals? Obsessed with piglin. No, we're not going to deal with the piglin brute today. That is not what we need. We need hog elder hoglins. Because... This is why it's going to be tricky, because hoglins run away from nether portals. So, and plus, also we want to make sure, and hello, what in the world are you doing here? Anyways, then, we have to get a zoglin into a place where he won't KO everybody.
So he's probably going to come out of this side. So what I need to do is I need to build a wall and around the nether portal that way. And can you please, I, I this is very, I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to do something loud, but get out of the, uh, llama, get out of the way. This guy just does not want to, this guy just, just does not want to leave me alone. And there we go. Now we need to build a. Uh, we need to make sure it's tall enough for the Zoglin to get trapped. And then what we have to do is destroy the. Remember, they are scared of nether portals. So. And we don't want the Zoglin to chase after everybody. And just curious. Uh, I really want to do this in a safe place, like, aha! We should do it in a mesa. Can they go through, uh, can they go through fence, can they go through the fence gates? That's the issue. So let's build, let's build something. If they can, sounds good. And then let's do, uh, oh boy, let's do gate. And it, why is it called redstone? It should be called a decoration box. And then, let's see. Here we go. Can they get through the fence? Um, hmm. I don't think they can. Which means, and you so, they're not as hard, uh, they're not as hard as Pigman Boots, but still pretty hard. So, this is, and we want to capture him. But then we would have to lead him and everything to get in. And I'm not sure if Zoglins can even be put on leads. Let me see. Uh, uh, Zoglin. And I'm actually on a snapshot phase, on the latest snapshot 20W29. So, good news, they can be led. They can be led. Anyways, uh, where did Mr. Hogland go? Still going that. And we need to leave. And then uh, it, now I, I'm not I'm not I'm gonna try to knock it into the lava. Oh, I could just KO it. Oh, I want, come on, oh, okay, there's the hoglin. 
there is the hoglin. So we need to lead the hoglin. Come on, follow me, hoglin. And now, this is the tricky part. We need to get it. We, this is the tricky part. We need to get it through the old wall. There we go. Let's go in. And where is it? You're right. Get out. There, there we go. It's going to transform in a minute. There we go. And looks like... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. What I was trying to do is I was... <laughs> Looks like it needs to be a bit more wide. that it is trapped in a safe place and yeah the tricky part is actually getting it to a safe place so let's try that again that, uh, so let's try that again so okay is the suffocating block don't be don't be scared hoglin i know hoglins don't like nether portals all uh, respawn anchors. And I do have a respawn anchor, so what I want it to do is, there we go. There it is. And now he is, now let's, now let's destroy the portal. And then he's gonna transform. Okay, here comes the challenging part. How am I gonna get him to a safe place without him attacking. There we go. Now he can't go anywhere. And uh-oh. Oh no, 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 no. Oh boy, no, no, no. You do not do that. You do not lead. Do not. Okay, this should be high enough. This should be high enough. But we have to destroy it eventually. But now, this is the tricky part. We have to put him in an area. So what we might do is we might put him in a fence and then hold on, can they even be fished up? I'm just curious. Oh, I need a fishing rod. Uh, fishing rod, yo, let's go. All right, so now I'm, can they be flipped with a fishing rod? Okay. Looks like they can be moved around with a fishing rod. The, this is where the hard pole comes in. Hard pole is actually putting him in a place where. What I could do actually is I could build I could build a fence around him. There we go. Now he is stuck. And now what we might now what we are going to be doing is putting a fence around him. And there we go. Now he's trapped. Now he is stuck. Now he can't get out and he can't go looking for more mobs except for me. So what we might actually do is we might actually, so normally these banners would be over the side, like, what I might do is I'm gonna replace these, I'm gonna get rid of these banners. I can still like click on, I can still like click on them, don't you? I can still like click on these, but I don't, I can still like click on <laughs> these never pull banners. They are possible to get in survival Minecraft. And then, because he can't go anywhere, 
and this is kind of like a wall. So now we are going to place it on the inside and there we go. Now we just need to make an entrance, but he will be stuck there forever. And now we are going to try to get some defenses up to protect him from the, uh, 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 to make sure he doesn't escape because we do need to put defenses up around him so he can stay put. and he cannot escape. I think there about now he can move around a bit see that's what i want this is going to be a pet soglin and uh oh now this is where it gets tricky there we go i think hoglins are too big all right can a zoglin be a uh, can a zoglin be named Any mod can be named except for the Ender Dragon and Players. I, yeah, and I'm on the latest Snapshots, and Snapshots will be coming out soon. So what should we do? Uh, let's turn caps off. Name. And then we also need an, I think there is an, an I think there is an anvil in my house, so that shouldn't be a big deal. Yep, there's an anvil in my house. And let's, what should we call it? Uh. Zoglin. Uh, Zoglinite. That, that's hilarious. Hmm. Um, let's call him Zig, <laughs> I think that will be a funny name for him. So, I was just about to name him and then he despawned. Well, looks like we'll have to spawn a new one in. He will stay put. And when he does transform into a Zoglin, which will come now, we're going to name him Ziglajal. And assuming they don't despawn, Actually, what does it look like when Oh. It doesn't do anything. Anyways, now we have a pet Zoglin, and 
assuming he doesn't despawn, which will probably not happen since we put it on the name tag. And unless a spider jock, unless a patrol comes and kills him. And Zoglin do have a lot of health, not as much as Piglin Hoots though, so I think we're good. Now we are going to go into survival mode, sleep, and that will round up for today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you later.